Today I talk about the joy of work. Welcome to episode number 38 of the Ian Luber's journey. I remember when I came home from my first year at college and I had worked extremely hard and I'd done well and I was ready for a break. And so when I got home, uh, as I recall, I just completely took off. In other words, I lounged around, I just hung out with friends, watched movies, played video games, did, uh, I don't recall exactly the activities, but I know that I just uh, spent a lot of time doing basically nothing. And at first it was really enjoyable. Uh, at first, there was this sense of novelty, this sense of relaxation that came from not having to study or spend long hours pouring through textbooks and solving hard physics problems, and uh, it was great. But what happened was it started to feel a little bit hollow a little bit empty. And this has happened in many, many different points of my life when I've had times like this, where I just haven't a nice long chunk of, of free open time. And the takeaway from this is that There's actually, actually, I'll, I'll go back and finish my, my, the story before providing the takeaway. I think that's worth doing. So what I ended up doing uh, in the future, actually, is when I had these, these batches of free time, uh, I would pick something to, to work towards. And whether that was I dove into some new area of math that I wanted to learn, I did that one... Uh, one summer, or whether it was some sort of skill, I, I tried to learn um, Mandarin over one winter break, and I would just get obsessed with these things, and that's that's something I do. I have a very obsessive, addictive personality type, and I would just dive into these things, and I would love it. I would I would just be completely engrossed in flow a lot of the time, and making progress towards something that I found meaningful, and. Whenever I would spend large amounts of time not working towards anything meaningful, I would always be great at first, and then it would feel a little bit hollow. Like when you eat a bunch of pieces of candy or a little bit too much cake, and you just feel a little bit sickly, and you know that it's not good for you. That's exactly how I would feel about these periods of not working. Uh, and I want to emphasize that I mean this in my personal experience, on the macroscopic scale. Uh, I think rest is extremely important. And this isn't to say that if you're not working 24-7, uh, you'll, you'll feel this, this emptiness. That's certainly not the case. Uh, the opposite has been the case in my experience. If I work 24-7, I feel an emptiness where leisure should be. Rather, what I'm saying is if, it, if I take more than... Uh, maybe a week, a week, probably two weeks, uh, a month certainly at, at max, where I'm not really working towards anything I find meaningful, I feel really empty and I feel really restless and I feel like I'm not spending my time well. And I felt that way lately, actually, when I've just been, I've been chronically fatigued fatigued and I haven't been able to work at my highest level and I've, I've felt this way, this emptiness. And in contrast, when I'm working towards something meaningful, whether that is when I was in school, whether that is now a project for my business or dancing, uh, when I'm working towards something meaningful, uh, it's harder. It's not always pleasant when I'm doing the work. Certainly not. But what I get from it is a sense of satisfaction, a sense of, of 
being on the, the playing field, so to speak, and a sense of progress in, in many cases. And a day where I, I put in a lot of work that's particularly demanding or strenuous, I'll go to sleep happy. And it's a different sort of happiness. It's not like a blissful happiness like like you can get from a party or from drinking. or Although it can be when you break through on a really hard problem or write something really fantastic or close a sale. It can be, but in most cases, it's not. Instead, it's the feeling like after a hard workout, the feeling of of depletion, of tiredness, but of a wonderful variety, of a variety that makes you sleep soundly at night and feel that you are contributing to the world. And that's something that I remind myself of because it's it's easy to slip in to when you have the, the chance, just long periods of not doing anything, or alternatively, and and more dangerously, actually, it's easy when you're working to just dream of being on vacation or lying on a beach somewhere. But what I've found is those dreams are not the whole picture, and they're, they're often hollow. And yes, they can be great for a little while, but at the end of the day, I am most happy, most fulfilled when I am working, doing hard, difficult, often strenuous work towards something that is deeply meaningful. would love to hear if you feel the same, this deep sense of satisfaction from doing work that you find meaningful. Uh, I'm preferring that, actually, to vacation or lounging around or something. And I hope you found this interesting. I think this is a really important topic.